if you have not evacuated, bug out. If you don't take heed, you're on your own. Preparing for a worst case scenario for our neighbors to the south. Hurricane Milton could be one of the most destructive storms on record for Florida's Gulf Coast. Here's a live look from the Georgia Florida border. There are dire warnings from Florida officials to get out before it's too late. It has been amazing to witness how quickly the storm has intensified. And now we have some new images from the International Space Station, and you can see the hurricane churning in the Gulf here behind us. Yeah, first alert meteorologist Fred Campagna has the latest hurricane track. He has been watching that closely. Fred, good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're now getting hourly updates from the Hurricane Center on the position of the storm and the intensity. Intensity is down to 125, 125 miles per hour, so that is uh, slightly good news, but it was expected to uh, decrease to weaken a little bit as it got closer. It's also accelerating a bit to the northeast right now at 17 miles per hour. You can see how it's just about 100 miles at this point from the coastline and they're getting lashed with wind and rain right now. And it's just going to get worse as we go through the next several hours. There have been several confirmed tornadoes throughout Florida during the day today in some of those rain bands. Latest projected track from the storm has it crossing the peninsula overnight tonight. In fact, uh, this forecast here has it at 8 o'clock in the morning, still west of Melbourne. But when we get the update at 5 o'clock, I suspect it might be right at the coast by about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So this is going to move across the peninsula overnight tonight, bringing with it in the hardest hit places a 10 to 15 foot storm surge, 80 to 120 mile per hour gusts. We're already finding some gusts in Florida that are up over 60 miles per hour. And again, those winds are just going to get stronger as you go through the next several hours, 10 to 15 inches of rain coming from this storm system. For us around here tonight, temperatures will settle back out of the 70s into the 60s and 50s to start the day tomorrow. And some really cool mornings are ahead in the seven day forecast. We'll talk about that coming up. All right. Thank you, Fred. We are just starting to get